it gonna stick? It's gonna stay. Hello, uh, it's Trish from Dish Kitty Studio, and I got um, a set of the Derwent Ink Tent pans. Um, this is a set of 12. Uh, I got this as a Christmas present, and I was just about to. Um, I've never used them before. I was going to swatch them out and see how they look on paper, and I thought you might be interested in seeing them as well. This is, this is my set of um, Inktense pencils. I've had these for a long time. I love them. Um, this is the 12 set, and I was very happy to find that the colors in this set of 12 are totally different. Well, there's a couple of, like I think Ink Black is the same, but there is a Natural Brown, and this set I have Bark brown instead of natural. Let's see what I've got here. That's poppy red. Oh, we've got poppy red in this uh, pan as well. Apple green is what's in the pan. This is teal green and there is a racing green. Also a kiwi, which is kind of a yellow green. It's got this... I don't know, it's kind of confusing. I'm looking at the key. The, these are, of course, like most watercolors, they're really weird because the the color here in the pan doesn't look anything like what the color actually ends up looking like. So let's start with light. This one's sun yellow. I know I don't have a sun yellow pencil. The pencil set has, oh, it does have sun yellow. Gosh, I'm way off. Let's see how this looks. This is like some handmade cotton watercolor paper here that I'm trying it out on. Well, it's very vibrant. That's what I love about ink tents. They're so bright. Pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to switch to a different brush because I'm not crazy about this one. I think I want something a little more, a little more firm. Try this one. Okay, so that was sun yellow. Next we are going to try mango. There's definitely not a mango in the pencil set. Oh boy, look how bright. So pretty. Alright, I think I'm probably going to stop talking and then I will speed this up at this point. So you guys can see the colors but not have to hear me jibber jabber. Um, I thought I would just uh, show you guys real quickly um, some of the kind of artsy supplies uh, that I got as Christmas gifts. So um, the first thing I want to show you is my husband bought me um, this amazing, this is a, a Lamy All Star, so it's an aluminum pen um, and it's a, it's a fountain pen. I believe this is the medium nib. Uh, I have not really even had time to do anything with it. That's why I'm just now pulling this label off of it. Um, it's such a beautiful color. This was a limited edition color that they only made for the one year. I can't remember if it was 2017 or 2018, um, but oh gosh, I've been in love with that color uh, since it came out. This did come with a blue cartridge, uh, but this was a... Um, I think this color is called Vibrant Pink, and this was a uh, a gift set 
that my husband got. So it came with a pack of the matching hot pink, vibrant pink, I'm sorry is the actual name of the color, vibrant pink cartridges as well. So I have not even inked it up. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't tried writing with it, but I'm very excited to. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I mean, look at that color. Come on. Gorgeous. So I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to try it out. Uh, a couple of other um, really neat things that I got I thought you guys might be interested in. First of all, my brother-in-law does um, some really great wood carving and he's recently gotten into uh, stamp carving as well. So he actually made me this, he hand carved me this little stamp and this is, um, I believe it's, I don't know if you can really see much there, but um, he said it's like some kind of vinyl so I can use any sort of medium on it. Um, but uh, this is what it looks like. So it's DS for Dish Kitty Studio. He also used the stamp he carved to make me this little ornament for my Christmas tree as well. It's so cute. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to use this stamp. I haven't really done anything with it yet. I haven't really had time to mess with much of the stuff that I got yet. Um, I did just swatch out my... I filmed that for you. I swatched out the uh, uh, ink tents pot, the pans that I got, um, but that was the first time I tried those too. So anyway, I'm, I'm so excited about this. I think it's so cool and I can't wait to really like get into using it and try some different mediums on it and I'm sure you'll see that in upcoming videos. Now another thing my husband got me that I have never even heard of and I think is probably one of the most interesting gifts I've gotten um, is something called the Rocket Book. Um, he got me two of them. He got me this Rocket Book Mini um, to keep in my purse. This one came with a pen, and then this is the Rocket Book color. Well, let me talk about this one first. If you're not familiar with the Rocket Book, basically, um, it's got these pages in it that sort of feel like almost like a little bit like plasticky kind of. Um, it, basically, the gist of this whole thing is um, it, the, this this pen this notebook came with a pen, and this is the um, the friction pen by Pilot. Um, if you guys haven't seen these, they're erasable pens. Um, they have an eraser on the end. They come in a few colors. This came with a black uh, pen. So basically, what you can do is you can write on these pages with the friction pen, and These pages are completely erasable. It came with um, this little pad. So you just have to add just a tiny bit of water, not much at all. Just get this little thing damp, and this comes completely off. So you can keep reusing these pages forever and ever. There's lots of pages in here. The other really great thing about it is um, you can, there's a Rocket Book app. And because of this little, the way these pages are designed, they do have tiny little dots. I don't know if you can even see them. They're not really very visible. But you, it's got this little code, the QR code in the corner. You just hold your camera within the Rocketbook app up to the page, and bam, within seconds, it completely scans the whole thing and uploads it to the cloud. So you can draw, draw out diagrams, ideas, write a grocery list, whatever it is, any kind of art you want to put on here, you can immediately scan it and it goes to the cloud. Then you can take that digitally, add color, you can print it and, you know, paint over it, whatever you want to do. Um, I am a really huge list maker and note taker and I love to doodle when I'm waiting or, you know, sitting in a car waiting for someone, whatever it is. So this is absolutely ideal for me. So this, I also uh, went out and separately bought three other colors of the friction pen. So I got pink, blue, and purple, like the light blue. Um, any of these pens you can use on this paper and the, the scans will come out in color and everything. So I've, I've played around with it a little bit. The app is amazing. It's incredible how quickly it is and how, how quickly it perfectly scans your page. Um, it's really impressive, even like, you know, I didn't do anything super detailed because I was just playing around, but it's crazy how much detail it pulls up just from a 
two second scan. Um, this one is a little bit different. This is the Rocket Book Color. This one is almost, um, it's a bigger format, obviously. These pages are very, very slick. It's almost like a dry erase surface. So you can use any of the Crayola line of dry erase products, pens, markers, um, they, I think they have crayons and pencils that are dry erase now. Any of those will work in this book. This book also has a couple of different formats, like here's a dot grid, I don't know if you can see that, but that one's got dots. There's a lot of plain pages, um, and then there's lined pages back here as well. Um, so this is more, these pens are also friction, but they're the friction markers. So these are like a dry erase marker as well. So you can go ahead and create whatever you want to create on here as well. And same thing, scan it and within seconds, you know, whatever you draw, write, doodle, your masterpiece is uploaded to the cloud. Um, and you can choose many, many different destinations and have it all set up to go exactly where you want it to go. Um, anyway, I am really, really excited about these. I think they're so cool and I can't wait. See how nicely they erased you. I can't wait um, to be able to keep these with me and work on pages for my daily journal or just sketch, draw, whatever on the go and not have to worry about always having paper or whatever it is. Just with, you know, really with one pen and one notebook forever, I can create as much as I want. So I think that's really cool and I'm excited about those. Um, I think that is all I wanted to show you right now, um, but stay tuned, I will be back. Thanks so much for watching.